Hi everyone. Good evening to you all. Just wait for a minute. Let me meanwhile share my screen. Just wait for one minute and then we'll start. I hope I'm audible, right? Can someone just confirm if you guys hear me? Yes, sir. Audible. Loud and clear. Great, great. Thank you so much, Vishal. Vishal, right? Yes, sir. Vishal. How are you, Vishal? All Very great? fine, sir. Very fine. Just today, I'll see your last recorded video. And uh, once a <laughs> reminder comes for uh, okay. the inverse, then I'll see. <laughs> okay, okay. So, which video you have so, uh, shown? Like SD Van? Yeah, SD Van, sir. SD Van, Cisco, yeah. Great, great. All right. So, where are you working, Vishal? Uh, sir, right now I am in uh, Bangalore and uh, I'll see one uh, defense project in HFCL, the Himachal Futuristic Communication Telecom Limited. Okay, 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 okay. So my domain is telecom. Right, uh, in past 14 years, I have experience in layer 3 switches. Right now, mm -hmm. I am switch the job in uh, HFCL. Great, great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, do you have any kind of knowledge of SD WAN or you were trying to learn SD WAN very first time? Uh, sir, for me, I'm learning first time. Okay, great. No worry. No worry. Many people here. So, I can see Asutos, Vishal, Banu, Ganesh, Parul. Uh, so, these people are on the Zoom meeting. All right. So, no worry. Uh, I can say many people are on the YouTube as well. And people are joining. Rohit also joined. Okay. All right. So without any further delay, let me just start the session. So welcome everyone like on Gwinnett Technology, right? So here we are offering different different courses let you do cisco sd band versa sd band palo ultra other cloud based firewall based palo ultra five checkpoint and everything so today basically we are talking about the core versa sd band network right so many of us you know about me i keep teaching about the cisco sd band solution uh, since very long industry know about me already and they know like uh, many of the people already taken the training and keep growing in their career different different you know job they have get after learning the cisco sd van so cisco sd van is quite popular because you know cisco brand itself is very popular and uh, many of the vendors keep using the cisco sd van solution because it's it having the monopoly in the market so brand matters and everywhere if you go for the any of the interviews people might be asked Cisco SD WAN solutions if you're working but in SD WAN portfolio Cisco is not exactly one of the best solution in the market other vendor also having a very best solution in the market and many of the companies are already adopting those solution Right, and one of the one of those solution what we are looking at uh, on the all of the you know vendor list, Versa is one of the best vendor available in the market. So Versa is a vendor. We having Palo Alto is a vendor, right? We having a Cisco as a vendor. We having like a Silver Peak as a vendor, Fortinet as a vendor. So I'm just writing here. So if you go for the vendor, so Cisco is a vendor, Palo Alto is a vendor, like Prisma SD WAN solution we call. Cisco is the same Viptela, right? SD WAN. Miraki, like one of the SD WAN, that is again a Cisco SD WAN solution. So Cisco having a two, one is the Miraki, another is the Viptela. Palo Alto, Versa is a like. SD WAN solutions, right? Versa also having the SD WAN solution. In addition of that, uh, we having a Silver Peak SD WAN solution. We having like uh, VMware Velu Cloud SD WAN solution, right? That is a VMware solution. In addition of that, we having the 148 SD WAN solution. So a lot of vendor available in the market. So which one is the best? 
we don't know right because we don't know where you are working which organization you are working which sd wan is going to be used so people right now confused in the market when i just go for the trainings for the people uh, people keep asking the questions which sd wan shall i choose okay so i would suggest go for the any sd wan solution okay i'm not telling you just go for the product specific unless or until it is really useful in your network right let us suppose you are working any of the company right so if you are working for the company might be in their of your organization cisco sd wan your company is using for the project deployment or migration whatever like they are just roll outing the legacy network over the cisco sd wan solution so you having like opportunity to learn the cisco sd wan because you have to do the deployment you have to do the troubleshooting you have to do the implementations design everything so go for the cisco sd wan solution if you are working somewhere in the company if they are using the versa sd wan solution many of the isp are using the versa sd wan solution so you can go for versa sd wan training if someone is doing the palo alto prisma sd wan solution go for the palo alto sd wan solution right if someone is using a silver peak go for the silver peak velo cloud go for the velo cloud but how much training you are going to get and how much knowledge how much you know uh, multiple vendor training you are going to get and is it possible to you memorize all the training portfolio the answer is no right you cannot go all 19 vendor trainings and just uh, always keep remember everything in your mind right so my suggestion is always stay on the basics right always stay on the basics when i teach i try to stay on the basic if your basic is clear if you know what is sdn solution how it work if you know the legacy routing protocols right if you know how the connectivity is going to be happen overlay and underlay then probably you can understand any of the sdn solution it's not limited to vendor specific yes there it is some there is some challenges in the vendor specific might be you have to understand the cli commands that is quite different from one vendor to another vendor you might have to understand the gui command that might be different from one vendor to another vendors so that matter but end goals the sdn that is i am going to talk right now that whatever the sdn we have that is we call the software defined network that concept is very clear whatever solution you are using they are going to leverage same kind of the solutions right same kind of the portfolio only your configuration command line interface or graphical user interface that is going to be changed but not sell everything is going to remain same so hope you guys understand this thing right <clears throat> in addition of that what next so the next stage when you talk about the sdn solution how we understand different different vendor portfolio so let, let me just give you a very exam very basic example like we are working as a network engineer since very long right someone is working the network engineer someone is working the security engineer right any of the engineer you are working either network and security it doesn't matter if you are the network engineer you might be heard about the cisco router right you might be and know about juniper router so two router you know that cisco and juniper router they both are doing the same routing right cisco is doing the routing juniper is doing the routing right they both running the ospf they both running the bgp they both running the isis right they both running the static routing they both running the switching environment they understand the vlans this is not router i'm just taking the switch if you are talking about the switch juniper and cisco switch they understand the vlans so different different router whatever we have they understand different different routing protocols different different switching concept switching protocols stp rstp whatever you have or like first hope redundancy protocol gateway redundancy protocol that is f h r p first hope redundancy protocol that they understand so is it matter which vendor i am deploying 
my goal is going to be achieved either with the juniper either with the cisco i want to run the bgp i want to do the path manipulation i want to do the lan connectivity lan redistribution i want to build the ospf in the lan is it possible either with the cisco either with the juniper but what going to make you difference right what going to make you difference that is your vendor hardware architecture so whatever the hardware you have the juniper that is not going to same with cisco that is a one thing you have to understand hardware architecture that might be different okay another thing the configuration command line difference so juniper having a different command line and cisco having different command line so the only the way of the configuring the devices the routing protocols and hardware architecture that are going to be different together because they belong to different different companies right different different entity but everything in term of the protocols in term of the communication that all remain going to be same so this is how your two vendor router keep doing the functionality in the different different routing domain switching domain whatever you have similar in regard of the whatever the sdn solution we have in sdn solution we having a lot of solution like one of the sd wan is the flavor right that is used for the wan infrastructures we having the sd lan as well which you call the sd access in the cisco some vendor use some other uh, portfolio we having the aci in data center that we call in the cisco some vendor use some different names but just i'm focusing here the sdn having the one flavor the hcc wan and this sd wan having a different different vendor if i am using the cisco if i am using the versa my aim would be remain same right i am going to leverage all the legacy routing protocols whatever i have i am going to leverage whatever the my control plane devices i have i i am going to leverage whatever data plane devices i have and by leveraging that all portfolio whatever they are using all the features i am going to achieve my end goals that what i exactly want to do that right so this is what we understand about different different portfolio different different vendor sd wan solution so this is my recommendation if you don't know sd wan just go for the any of the vendors and understand what is sdn and why we need a sd wan solution so that is the first concept we have to understand actually why this sd wan solution is required what something we were missing in the wan solution that is a wide area network simply and there was something missing uh, mi uh, that was something missing in the wan solution that's why we introduced the software defined wide area network that is a sd wan solution so first we have to understand what is a wan solution and what is the sd wan solution so when people talking about the sd wan they always sometime i listen to people talking about it is something going to replace the mpls it's partially little bit true but not 100% true it is not something it is going to replace the mpls completely okay your mpls is going to remain if you can use your mpls there is no if and but but it is going to act as a underlay technology so might be if you are using the internet circuits if you are in the mpls circuits they both can be still used right internet is little bit unsecure unless or until if you are going to use some tunneling protocols mpls is highly secure because it's going to create the private line between a location to b locations might be your branch to data center branch to branch but it's highly cost and it's lower cost but again we just having the lower security the internet so these are the basic things about the internet mpls but these are not going to completely replace while introducing the sd wan solution they will remain same with you they will remain same with you only thing is going to happen it is going to act as a underlay okay and another thing is going to build over this underlay is known as the overlay so i'll discuss this is the key concept in versa or any of the sd wan solution what is underlay 
what is the overlay so we'll try to understand in upcoming session okay so i'll make you understand what is the underlay what is the overlay next i am talking then why sdn what exactly need we required where we introduce the sdn solution so let's say suppose i am giving an example in previous legacy wan router routing solution you having the r1 r2 r3 let's suppose you having the r100 total router is r100 and let's say suppose you just have to upgrade the ios of the all the routers that is a software firmware of the routers so how basically you do that it is a very complex job every site you just have to arrange the afi field engineer that will go on the on site they will download the software version from the internet for recommended box whatever you having installed on the sites they will create some tftp where they upload the ios version they will give the console access and from there they will try to upload the ios if he is skilled they can perform that much activity by alone if not they might be contact to knock engineer like where we having the l2 and l3 are settings or might be l1 is also setting they take the remote access of that you know laptops of the field engineer and they could perform from the remotely to ios upgradation process so if you having 100 routers one by one if you are going to do it to be it is going to take a huge time huge effort and it is not very easy task sometime your field engineer internet is not working sometime your field engineer having some kind of the console connectivity issue sometime they having some kind of the might be a tftp server issue so a lot of issue faced and sometime it's utilized 9 hour your shift or it's sometime two shifts of the 9 hours 18 hour of the shifts sometime it's take more than that also depend on the situation how the situation you are but not always but sometime it's take a very longer time to do the upgradation process so if you having 100 100 sites you just have to do 100 time the same process so it is like monotonous work waste of resource your resource is going to be utilized more your even you are going to utilize more resource you just having the more cost to manage the boxes right and there is a chance of the failure also where might be my router is not going to come up so you just have to do reconfiguration replacement and everything that is another effort is going to be utilized so a lot of pro and uh, cons we having more cons we having in term of the legacy wan solutions but if the same thing i want to do with the sd wan solution let's say suppose i just replace all the router whatever i have that all are become the sd wan routers right still they are routers but now they are the sd wan router so we add the software defined feature then they are become the intelligent routers right so once i introduce the sd wan in these routers so they are become the intelligent but actually they are not intelligent how they become the intelligent i will tell you in the upcoming uh, upcoming discussion okay so let's assume for time being they become intelligent and if i want to upgrade the ios of the 100 of the router in the one go like one time it can be upgraded very quickly right i just have to play around with the one location and they can be quickly upgraded the ios version so this is how my ios can be upgraded to the multiple routers right but how it is going to happen i'll tell you okay later on let's say suppose if having a two routers right r1 and r2 right this is r1 they are connected in the let's say suppose mpls link and behind that you having a lan this is a lan circuit this is how connected the lan circuit has been so if this is the lan is connected on your r1 and r2 then how the traffic flow is going to happen this is the wan solution i am talking right now this is a let's suppose a wan solution so let's suppose one pc is connected here and this this pc want to go on the data center right so your traffic might be come in this way your traffic will come in this way 
and via this link this will go to the data center this is your primary path just think this is your primary path so what is going to happen let's assume that this path what is your primary path this is going to down so if this is completely down then your auto failover is going to happen based on the whatever the redundancy protocol you are using uh, like hsrp vrrp here might be you are using they are tracking the van they will switch the traffic over this internet link uh, this mpls link that is r1 and from there your traffic keep going to a data center right this router goes down still failover is going to be happen if this link goes down still failover is going to be happen okay but i am giving another scenario let's assume this link is not down this link is not down okay this is connected in this way sorry i really apologize this is connected in this way this is connected with this this is link is up this link is also up but let's suppose this link having the performance issue so what do you mean performance issue it's not down this link is not down but they their performance has been degraded how the performance can be degraded might be this link having the some crc error some loss packet loss still not down but there is a packet loss there is some overruns there are some errors on the circuits so could be anything in my my circuits could be anything right so if my link having a issue will the failover is going to happen the answer is no the answer is no your failover is auto failover is not going to happen because auto failover said if you are running the hsrp vrrp if link is going to down and you are monitoring some sla threshold let's say suppose you are monitoring some kind of the sla uh, of the latency jitter loss whatever you want and if they are only going to match then only the failover is going to happen if not then probably not going to happen you uh, because your link is not down your lan is not down your router is not up but in some cases even your sla is meeting you not configure the sla or if your sla is less or more about the same so sometime it's coming sometime fluctuating on the secondary link some when sla is meet then it's failover when again sla will come again the traffic is start going this way so again there is a problem and user will face slowness ex, ex, uh, experience here and it will keep saying i am not able to access the application which are hosted in a data centers right so these are the problem so probably you can start your troubleshooting you can do your troubleshooting based on your troubleshooting you probably what we can do you come to know there is some crc low reliability on the in interface there is some overruns there are some errors or might be you having the high utilization as well so could be anything right or you having a problem so if this is your normal van solution this auto failover is not going to happen so what you have to do you just have to do the manual failover right so you just have to do manual failover where l2 or l3 engineer will come and they will do the failover they will try to shift the traffic from r1 to r2 by doing some kind of tweaking tweaking might be here you are running the ospf as well or some other routing protocol if you are not running simple hsrp so you just have to tweak the hsrp's values and you just have to send the traffic on the r1 and then the traffic will go there it is again going to add the complexity for you right so it again going to add the complexity for you so there is a problem you just have to do the manual effort and based on your manual effort you just have to switch the traffic from the one uh, gateway to another gateway but if i replace the same solution with the sd wan solution right it's become the intelligent wan right software defined wan wan so in this case what is going to happen my scenario would be same if my router will go down it will quickly shift to the r1 my link will go down it will quickly quickly shift to the r1 my this link goes down it will quickly shift to the r1 but what if what if if my having the performance issue again so if you having a performance issue and you are using the sd wan solution no need to worry your fabric will quickly understand your controllers will quickly understand and they will do on behalf of you auto failovers so that is the beauty of the sd wan and how it is going to happen i'll tell you okay so the auto failover scenario which was 
happening with the manually in case of the van solution that is going to be happen with the auto right so this is the second feature one we understand that is the ios upgradation that was the quite complex that second that is the auto failover that was also very complex in case of the normal van solution so two things we understand we having a multiple things like if i discuss about third things so if i talking about third things van router doesn't understand the applications right if you if i want to do the routing based on the applications can i do that the answer is no some extend by using the some of the you know extensive or like i can say like uh, n bar solution and all i can do that but not in all scenario what we can do in the sd wan solutions so basically in the wan solution if you want to do the based on the routing on youtube whatsapp these are the application you might uh, not understanding if you are not aware of that facebook wechat o365 salesforce right so these are the different different applications if i want to do the routing based on the applications if someone is using the youtube application and that application is going to match by my wan router and i want to send via this link this is the one link this is second link i want to send youtube traffic via this link will i do that the answer is no you cannot do that your router is not intelligent to understand the application of your routing but if you replace the same router with the sd wan router like this can easily understand and it can send different different application different different links based on your needs right so this is a like application aware routing they can do that right so app aware routing they can do that so we having a lot of features i'll explain when we officially start this course so today we are just having the introduction section so i'm just giving the an example like complex operation high cost limited scale no cloud so now a day cloud is very popular every organization is leveraging the cloud features so let's say assume if you are doing the cloud based you are using the cloud based application and your devices are not ready to accept the cloud based features then how it is going to be happen right how they are going to understand how the routing is going to be happen how the application is going to be handled how the security is going to enforce based on the cloud applications right so that is not possible fragmented security that is a quite challenging i'll show you what do mean fragmented security that means we just using some external firewall different vendor firewall not we having inbuilt security feature in my wan solution like you having a cisco router right normal cisco router normal juniper router right will they do the security stuff the answer is no they cannot do all security stuff they cannot do url filtering they cannot do the like uh, file blocking content um blocking content reading based on that antivirus anti spyware vulnerability ddos attack they cannot do all the things but you just have to deploy some third party firewall that might be the palo alto might be the asa might be the checkpoint might be the sopoch might be you having the fortigate firewall any firewall so that is a fragmented security just have to use but if you are using the sd wan boxes they having the all security feature in built in the box no need to use additional security devices how it is easy right so that is additional features limited application aware route, routing that that i just explained this joint solution solution is not same across all the fabrics we having a different different solution different different locations in sd wan solution we having a different different flavors different different solution in the different different location that could be the same bandwidth issues why bandwidth issue might be you having a two links but you just utilizing the one of the link because you are using the active passive scenario not active active because your router is not much capable to understand all the application all the routing behavior where you can leverage both of the link at the same time right so these are the challenges in business ready wan whatever we having the old solution that can be mitigate with the sd wan solutions okay so now coming back to again why sd wan and how the concept was discovered right so earlier when before the sd wan 
when we talk about we having a router, right? Any router you can take. Let me just use my Cisco slides just for your understanding. So because we are keep running the Cisco SD-WAN solution. So I'm just giving one of the reference. In any of the routers, when you just using the router in, in regard of the vendors, like Cisco router, Juniper router, Versa router itself, okay? Or Brocket router, HP router, Nokia router, TP-Link routers, so a lot of routers we have available in the markets. Any router you're using, they're having a three comp components. Basically, one is the switch fabric, one is the control plane modules, one is the IO modules. So just understand. So control plane modules just take the information of the routings. So whatever routing we have, control information, like whatever BGP, OSPF, RIP, EIGRP, right? Static plus connected. These all are the routing. So these all routing, whatever we have, they are just going to store in the routing tables, right? So that is a control pane where we can store the routing information. So every router having the routing tables, where install the routing tables. That is known as a control plane in regard of the any vendors. They having the IO modules. What is IO modules? Input output modules. That means some devices or cable we are connecting where the packet is in, input that means in, and some devices is connecting another port where the packet is going out that we know as the output. So it's a very simple. Packet is coming from the port, physical port, and going out via the physical port, which is cable is connected, right? Here is also cable connected. Here is also cable connected. So in both case, my cable is connected. My cap packet is keep going in and out, right? To combine these two features, control plane and data plane, we need some mediator, which basically acting as a switch fabric of the, any of the routers, right? Might be name is going to different for different vendors, but end of the day, someone is going to mediate where if this want to take any information from control pin, they will go via the switch fabric to the control pin. When he he will control pin will try to send the information to the data plane, it will go via the this way. So the switch fabric is going to act as a mediator. So this is like where we having a one box. In one box, we having a complete brain. And we having a complete data plane where we are taking the in and out the packets. So brain inside of the box. But when we talk about the SDN solution, we are not keeping brain inside of the SD-WAN routers. So whatever the SD-WAN routers we have, let's suppose this is the R1, this is the R2, this is the R3. So these all doesn't having a brain. So whatever the brain we, see in this router, they having the inbuilt brain, but in the SDN solutions, we not using the brains. We put brains somewhere in the central location that is known as the controllers, right? So controllers having the brains, right? Controllers having the brains and they maintain the routing informations, routing tables, right? So whatever the BGP, OSPF, BGP, static, RIP, EIGRP, right? Whatever the route you can think plus connected, they are installed in the controllers. So they basically maintain the control informations, fabric routing informations, and these routers, these are the SD-WAN routers. They are the brainless routers. They doesn't having the brain. This is the idea of the SD-WAN. That means you just remove the brains from here, from here, from here, and put every brain here, here. So you're having thousand router, you're just having a thousand brain installed in these controllers. So all brain are put in the one locations and that is become a controllers. That means collection of the brain of the all routers that become the controllers. So now we having the controllers, we having the routers. So how they are going to integrate to each other? Someone should be, because if you notice in this router, in this router, we having the brain, that is a control pane and we having the IO module. That is the, just think about the routers. So the integration was happening by the switch fabric, right? So similar thing, something is required where control plane and the data plane, that is basically your IO module. Let me, sorry, why you came, you're not required. So let's suppose this is your IO module. 
input output module that is physically connection is going to happen here they basically need to connect with some transport right and this transport could be the mpls and could be the internet so when they connect over the mpls and these connect with the controllers right then they acting as a fabric basically switch fabric in the term of the this box scenario right so basically control plane and data plane are integrating together by the help of the your switch fabric that is known as your transport which is nothing your isp links so whatever isp link you having they are going to help you to do the integration between your control plane and data plane devices so this is what and this is how your control connection is going to be formed so this is overall idea so if i talk little bit about the pure versa sd wan solutions okay so right now i i just given about the overview of the idea till now i didn't talk anything about the versa but now let me just talk about the versa sd wan product okay so in this versa sd wan product if you see that these all topics we are going to cover like we will discuss what is the course introduction what we are going to cover what is the theoretical and design perspective and how the lab is going to be set up controller understanding lab overview will understand lab creation you guys understand how to create lab and all because if you see that this is the lab i have built that is a completely up and working i'll show you the complete features so you you will understand once you'll get the lab guide and everything how this lab is going to be created and how the different different branch is going to integrate with the controllers right and we understand how to like uh, deploy the brand new nodes node is just branch side control plane nodes control planes that is your uh, controllers what i was talking this how that can be deployed how the branch is going to be deployed how data center is going to be deployed how they are going to interconnect with this different different transport you understand the configuration step by step for the all things right in addition of that uh cpu how, how the protocols is going to run between the branch and c to p bgp ospf how they are going to run lan side ospf how going to be configured vrrp how going to be configured vacp how going to be configured redistribution of the like protocols how it is going to happen dia integration how going to happen sla based application traffic steering how it is going to happen that is nothing the policy we are going to happen what is a template how template is going to be created didn't added but this is the most important thing so versa sd wan lab so templates creations for all of the situation whatever we have so that is also that is a base thing somehow i just forgot to add here and sla application steering how the application based routing is going to happen how the firewall feature we are going to integrate so like everything whatever we just think you guys just think about the versa portfolio or any other sd wan portfolio we have that is a main feature we have that is a dia integration sla monitoring auto failovers traffic steering like policy how going to give how the template is going to create it how the different different feature templates that means the different different services is going to be integrated with the our versa sd wan solution that we are going to cover here right so this is the course little bit right. anyone having any question guys anyone anyone having any question till now anyone want to ask anything about this versa sd wan course if not let me just move out so if you go for the any of the versa sd wan solution any of the versa sd wan portfolio there would be three things you will find that you will find one of the hidden devices where your controller is going to be deployed that is a versa director versa analytics and the controllers that is responsible for do the all routings which i explaining right where the bgp ospf every routing is going to be installed right so these controllers are always located in central locations so that is a first thing second thing 
you having the different different branch locations where your actual lan is connected and user are sitting to access the your data center application internet based applications right this is your data center just think about the branch so that is a second thing right these all are second part where branch and data center integration is going to happen the third thing to integrate these control end and the branch location that we have in the known as the isp that is a transport which is the mpls and internets so this integration with these two locations it's going to happen with the either the 4g lt internet or the mpls circuit and if you want to integrate your legacy network that can be also integrated if you want to integrate your the cloud based uh, proxy you can also integrate them so this is how main three component we have in our versa sdvn portfolio and versa sdvn solution right so if i am going to the next slide you guys see here this is our lab this is the guinet technology lab right and we are almost having the similar kind of the features right if you see here you we having a similar kind of features we having the control controllers like we are we having a directors we are we having the analytics we are we having the controllers right that is the your ip uh, where uh, we we install the routings and now in addition of that we having the branch edge 1 3 4 and these are the data center and this is your two and these all branches are connected with the different different transport you can say these two connected to the internet these two are connected with the mpls data center is connected with the mpls and internet both so this is how my lab is connected so this is the very complex lab i just created and i'll just make you more complex for you guys so at least you understand how this lab has been build so you can see here this is the lab that is created on our evng platform you guys see there you can access remotely from anywhere of the world you just need the rack access whatever lab we have you just log into the url you will get the url and username password and then you will have the lab access so once if i go and show you a little bit how it looks like in term of the lab this lab is fully loaded every function is working let me show you how it is looks like so still i didn't uh, like i'm not discussing like feature about this controller analytics and controllers and other devices probably i'll discuss after the lab demonstration so you guys can little bit understand what are the different different component we have but let me just show you so once you log in that is a versa director that is a main component okay before going to lab let me just give you some idea right about the controller then i'll go to lab okay so let me just give some idea to you guys so i'm just giving the comparison between the cisco sd wan controller and the versa sd wan controller so let me just open one more lab for you guys understanding just just let me give one minute so let me just open the cisco sd wan lab as well because i am the instructor of the sd wan both of so i have the both labs so i just want to show you you can look and feel how the labs looks like okay so this is the cisco sd wan lab you guys see here this is the cisco sd wan lab where we having the controllers these are the controllers where we having the v manage v bond v smart this is a root ca for the just certification and all but these are the three controllers we have in cisco sd wan and if you going in the versa sd wan again we having a three controllers director analytics and the controllers so whatever the feature the cisco sd wan controllers we have the same kind of the feature i can say almost similar we have with these three controllers only the way of the doing the work is going to be changed right configuration of the way is going to be changed so if you again go in the slide if you see this cisco and versa sd wan controllers here we having a three controller that is known as a v manage single pan of glass where we can do the policies template creation activation of the any of the vs devices any of the branches v smart is like acting as a controllers who is responsible for the routing right v bot is just used for the staging like onboarding the devices right similar feature we having in the sd wan solution right in sd uh, sorry in versa sd wan solution what we having 
similarity with the, this uh, our controller whatever we have in the cisco sd wan so let's say suppose you want to achieve the control plane management plane and orchestration uh, plane that also going to achieve with the help of all three devices right so if let's say suppose you want to create policy you want to apply the policy for the any of the site location you want to create the template that all is going to be happen over the your versa director it's also acting as a single pane of glass where you can easily view your all network statistics but for that you just have to use the feature of the v analytics right this is going to show entire fabric how they behaving how the report looks like how the link performing which site is up which site is down what is the bandwidth utilization everything will find that right so these two features whatever we have that is similar to v manage whatever we have in here right now the the second thing whatever we have that is known as my controller right so controller is going to act as a staging like onboarding of the devices any devices if i want to onboard in the network routing manipulations routing doing everything i can do with the help of the controller so that is the same so if i combine these three controllers feature and these three controllers feature they are going to do the similar work so the only name is going to be changed but the work is going to be remain same so here you can see guys in the lab of this versa as divan when i deploying the controller we having the north bound and we having a south bound right so if i just go with the official design guide so basically when i talk about the versa as divan i have the complete versa solution design guides and the all documentation from versa right so if i go for the any of the head and depart uh, head head and de uh, deployment of the versa controllers as per the versa network documentation you find that we having a northbound segment and southbound segment so they having the special purpose to design in the northbound and southbound uh, definition of the devices so northbound basically that is for the out of band management so if you want to manage the controllers you want to log into the devices that basically is going to happen with the northbound you can see northbound segment for the management traffic so whatever in lab we have here that if we if we want to just manage the our networks we want to log in the networks that we just use that northbound where we can just access the devices so for here this pc basically this is not server this is server but acting as a pc i can replace with the pc as well here you can see i am able to log in the versa director so if i put the my credential here if i put my credential here in versa director it is going to be logging okay so see it is trying to log in probably in a few second it will be ready so you can see i am able to log in the versa director so this is the pc where right now i am in and from there i am able to log into the my this versa director right and in this versa director itself i have a feature that is a analytics which i just integrated and i can see complete view of my site in the analytics okay so here you can see i can see total seven sites i have and which site is performing which type what is the bandwidth utilization what is the critical alerts and everything whatever i have i can just check it so just have to click any of the field whatever you want to see the current usage and last seven days whatever you want to monitor ability you want to monitor about about the routers you can see how the link is doing how the behavior it is doing so everything you can see in the analytics that is integrated in the versa itself right so every site you can see right now the all sites currently they are in the green previously they were down but right now you can see they are the green that means all site is up and working for me in my versa director and even you can see in the here you can see all site having the reachability they all are up services right and they are configuration sync so we having all multiple branch data center controllers vhs which is showing in here they all are completely sync and completely up and working right so this lab is fully loaded which i build for just demonstration purpose but i'm telling you guys once the batch will going to be start will build this lab from very scratch okay so topology will remain same but every configuration is going to start from zero so from zero to hero right so you will guys understand from zero to hero 
Versa SD WAN configuration. So once the course will finish, you will become the hero of the Versa SD WAN, right? So this is my promise. I'll make sure you all understand. Till now, anyone having any question here? Any question, guys? If you want to ask me, just let me know. Anyone? No problem. All right. <clears throat> so once this all uh, like uh, controller deployment is going to happen. We having a north bond that is responsible for my, you know, all the management and everything. We having a south bond that is for the control traffic. Whatever the they want to communicate to each other, they want to get the control information, they will do via the south bond API. And always north bond is going to configure when the Ethernet interfaces of the devices, and south bond is going to be configured with the Ethernet one interfaces, right? That is equivalent to VNI interface. So here, basically, controller is the VNI. This is equivalent to Ethernet zero, right? For the controller, but analytics and the V director is like having the same kind of the features, right? So this is a lab. So lab, you'll get access from you know once we enroll the sessions. Now moving next. So if I want to see what is the routing protocols running in my you know versa directors so just i just want to give the flavors you guys understand like what is running so if you just log in here or just exit here and if you just log in by putting the admin and versa 123 password you'll find this kind of the name versa flex vnx so versa is a vendor flex is a flexible vnf is a virtual network function right so this is the flex VNF. So they same, whatever the controller we having the image that is known as the VIOS, the same image is going to deploy for the all branch router. So basically this branch and this controller having the same image, similar to the, our SD-WAN lab. So in our SD-WAN lab, what is happening? Whatever image we deploy for the VH router, that is going to same for the V1 devices, right? So these two images are same. So similar in the Versa, whatever images we having the VH, uh, sorry, Versa H, they having the same image with the controller, which is the acting as a staging server as well. And VBOND is also acting as a staging server, onboarding server. So this is the how you can go and log in. And if you just go in the CLI, and if you run command, or uh, one more thing, so BGP summary. So you'll found this controller having the BGP pairing with the all locations. Right, you can say BGP jump and walking, they are exchanging the prefixes. So, most important thing in Versa SD WAN, whatever the overlay routing protocol we are running between the controller to site locations, right? Whatever the routing protocol we are learning here, that routing protocol is known as the MP, sorry, MP BGP. So, we are running the BGP protocols as routing protocols in a Versa. But if I go on the SD-WAN, Cisco one, they having their own routing protocols between running between the devices, the smart to the VHH, to this one, to this one, to this one, that is known as the OMP, overlay management protocols. So you can see, you can look and fill two vendor differences at the same time because we should know, like someone, if we ask, then if you having the idea of the two vendors, that is going to give you the more advantage on your CV, right? At least you know what protocols they are using. That is Cisco proprietary, right? So no other vendor use OMP protocols, but in Versa, they use open standard. That is the BGP, right? So that is a OMP routing protocol. So that's why you can see all the routing information is forming on the overlay network, and that is going via the BGP. Similarly, if I go in the director, you can see if I log into a director in the CLI, if you, you guys are uh, see the CLI, you can see once you log in, you can see this is a Versa director interface. So Versa director, basically CLI, we do the less thing. Everything basically we do the GUI once it is onboarded. So everything you can find in the GUI, right? Less thing in the CUI. In the V analytics, if you go, even V analytics, very less thing in the CLI, everything in the GUI. So if you go here, you just try to log in here again by admin and Versa123. You will find this kind of the interface, Versa Analytics. And if you try to uh, check about this uh, CLI function, there is a CLI function also available to show if you try to check. So interface brief, 
so system you can just run the command so system you can just check like uh, details so it will show you some system details about the v analytics so you can find here because these are the just for the uh, data reporting and everything so not not much feature we have leaving the cli point of view but for a controller and the routers if i log into the any of the router we could run everything like let me show you so this router if i am running it, it will show the bgp configuration it will it will uh, if you just run here again it will show the versa let me just show you so cli if you go show uh, bgp summary you see this one having the bgp summary that is up and walking you can see here so if you want to check the so interface brief it will show all the uh, just you have to use that tab to just see in the tabular form you can see the, we having a different different interfaces like we having a dynamic tunnel interface we having the virtual tunnel interface we having the vni interface let me just make little bit smaller so you guys see that so yeah see okay. so you see the like uh, uh, tunnel tbi tunnel virtual interface we having the vni interface virtual network interface right and this is the private tunnel interface so we having a temporary private lot of we having a tunnel where we can just make the virtual tunnel with the over the networks right and these are the lan interfaces where my switch is connected so this is a lan interface if you go here in the lab this is a lan interface where this network is connected similarly if i go in this dc routers so if you go here and try to check some kind of the commands if you go in the cli if you run the so bgp summary again here it will show the bgp status with the controllers you can see here so bgp routes are coming if you run the, we are running the vrrp so let me show you so vrrp vrrp why vrrp is running because in the lab we are running the vrrp also we are running the isl inter cross link also that is for the inter uh, transport communication we we'll use that so that all feature we are running here so if you go here and if you are trying the so vrrp and if you put the question mark you just put the group and you just put the tab you will see just better not use the tab it will show the very detail in without tab so you can see this is clearly showing this vrrp whatever we running this router is acting as a master and this having the priority 1110 and this is the primary this is the virtual ip address everything you can see here right so virtual ip you having the active master and if you go for the its peer which router right now i am i am on uh, vh1 so let me just go on the vh2 uh, sorry uh, versa h2 not webtail h so <clears throat> if i run the same command here show vrrp group sorry so you can see this is the backup and this uh, group is 1110 and this priority is 100 just 100 and here the priority was just you can see that is a 1110 and group is 1110 so this is the primary this is the master one and this is the backup one so this is how we can even run the vrrp and we know how the configuration is going to happen in term of this dc point of view so in dc point of view if you want to do the vrrp configuration you just have to create the group and you just have to create the options and group you just have to divide the priority and you just have build the template it is going to push the devices so this is how we can do the different different configuration if you want to create the templates you just have to go let me just come out here so you, you having like if you just go for the any of the configuration of the devices so there is a template creation process first you create a device template then you create the device group and then you bind the devices with the data so whatever bind data you have actual features of the ip addressing routing whatever you want to do that you have to bind with that so this is a hierarchy so how these are going to happen so here we can just create the device group if you just have to create the template so you go, go in the device template so you can say i have created different different device template for the mpls branches dual transport for dc dual transport for dc h1 so different different testing i have done even you want to create new one just click here and the new template is going to create here you just have to put the details how it is going to happen i'll def definitely teach in the upcoming classes right when the official class is going to be start how this template is going to be created how the device group is going to be created that you can see we having a different different device group and if you click any of the device group you will find how the different different feature is going to be configured if you want to apply 
these are the VRRP, SLA, if you want to give the DNS, if you want to give the Jones, if you are, want to have an LLDP, DSCP, policy-based forwarding, everything you can do that. And if you want to go for the next generation, that is the key things of the Palo Alto firewall, that is the next generation firewall features, DOS, decryption, security, security profiles, these things also going to be happen. IPsec, VPNs profile, and here is SD-WAN. The policy creations, like path policies, SLA profiles, that is also going to be created here. Web proxy. So you can do whatever you want to do with this Versa sd one solution portfolio, right? So in addition of that, what else? The template creation, policy creations. If you want to check how my device is, looks like in inventory. So whenever you just stage the devices in very new time, they're showing in the shipped mode. But when it's completely staged on board on the uh, fabric, they're showing this claimed mode. So how it is going to happen from a stage to claim mode when we do the our official course uh, introduction and the syllabus one by one uh, creation of the labs, understanding the topology, doing the configuration in the nutshell in the very detail, then we understand. We understand the feature about the universal CP, what that means, where that is going to be used that we are also going to understand, right? So a lot of things we have to do. I cannot cover it today, but I'm just demonstrating what we are going to cover in our syllabus. So in addition of that, I'll make you understand what is the underlay, what is, the, sorry, what is the underlay and how it is going to create the tunnels and become the overlay. How, what, how the underlay connectivity is going to form between the all branches and between the controllers, how it is going to make the overlay connectivity over the IPsec, or that you're routing for the uh, your BGP running, how it is going to happen. So these things we are going to understand. These are the Versa sd WAN routers. So we'll try to understand what are the port type of the Versa sd WAN routers, how it looks like, look and feel. These are the model of the CGS 700 series appliance. They are the high-end router appliance. You can see, you read about this. So we understand what are the feature of the high-end routers. You can see these are the different, different model. One can be deployed in the, you can see here, these two models that uh, GS, uh, CGS 1300 and the 1500 Versa. And this can be used for the different, different enterprise branch, enterprise branch with the high performance. You can see the routing, stateful firewall feature, SD-WAN DIA features. You can see the speeds are going to be increased based on the models. So if you want to use this one, you, more, you have to pay more, but they're having the more features, more speed, more power, but this one having a less. So based on your need, your requirement, you can select the boxes, right? For the, your 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 own need. So this is the like deployment. In addition of that, we understand what is the legacy band technology, what was the ch challenges with them, and how the secure Versa SD band is going to mitigate those challenges. How these different different boxes, whatever we have in the WAN router, SD band router, WAN optimizer, and switch and Wi-Fi AP and security devices that all can be replaced with the single boss that is known as the Versa SD-WAN secure architecture, right? So you just have to pay a lot of money when you are using the that much boxes. You have to utilize a lot of resource while using these all boxes. But you just think you just no need to use all these boxes. Just use the single box. They will give the same feature. They will give the same kind of the all uh, requirement, whatever you need that is going to be done, right? So I'll explain how this is going to happen. In upcoming slide, if you see that, we're having a very detailed discussion about the features, how it is going to replace, what is the challenges with this solution, what is the like uh, device bit, hardware, software, and where the, where the, which kind of the devices is going to be used. So these all things are, you can see explained in very details, which probably I'm not going to cover each and everything, but in nutshell, in upcoming session, we are going to discuss. In addition of that, we having very detailed steps lab guide also, right? So if you guys go for the Versa SD WAN, so I just created for the, you know, let me just show you. Let's say suppose you want to onboard directors. So how the things is going to be happen in Versa director onboarding process. So I just made it for you all. So if you just start onboarding process, how the configuration is going to happen, what configuration, where it is going to require. So everything I just created, what command we're going to use to successfully onboard the controllers, how to do the verification, 
how the scripting, how the Python is script, how the uh, Linux based command is going to be add because it's a very complex process. So I just created the lab guide for every, uh, all of you. You just have to follow the steps and you just have to onboard the devices. Okay. So everything I have already created and I have already made ready for you all. So no need to worry. So we just have to make our hand dirty while doing the configuration, right? So how the director is controller is going to be deployed. What are the steps, how the Linux command is going to happen, how the configuration is going to happen. So every step, it is already ready. We just have to do your job template creation, how the template is going to be created for different, different requirement, how it is going to be integrated with the service template for the, your different, different feature ideas, IPS policies, traffic and uh, uh, steering, uh, other, other things, whatever we have that all is going to be covered in this lab. And finally, how the DI, how the device script is going to be created how, when we are onboarding the devices, what is script like we having the GTP scripting process, we having the like uh, a device URL based scripting process, right? So these all things we are going to be discuss and we are going to create the script and based on the script, how we are going to uh, onboard the devices. See, these are the script and we just have to run the script, how the information will get here and from where, and then it is going to be how created this all. So I have done a lot of research for you all guys, right? So it's time to just enjoy this lab, enjoy this new baby, okay? So I'm very excited. Hope you all are equally excited for this all sd solution. And if you're having a still any query, just let me know. In addition of that, everything, even the troubleshooting, every document I have from the Versa, none of the document when I am using that is not related to Versa, okay? So all documents, if you want to troubleshoot the routing protocol, see? This document is from Versa, okay? How the protocol troubleshooting is going to happen, how the routing is going to be checked, how the domain instance, everything is written here. So I will share these all document to you all once we start the course, okay? And so you guys can easily understand how the troubleshooting is going to happen, how the branch data path IPsec troubleshooting is going to happen. So it's everything from Versa, right? So all document you'll find from Versa. If you want to uh, branch deployment option, if this document is also from Versa, you will understand the theoretically as well. What are the option we have? How branch can be deployed? Single CP with a dual transport, dual CP with a dual transport, right? Single transport on a dual CP, dual CP with a LT transport. How it is going to be connected? How the design? How the workflow is going to happen? What are the use cases we have? What is the complexity we have? how like performance is going to be have. So all comparison we are going to use and advantage, disadvantage, whatever we have, we are going to understand. So this is what we are going to understand how the cross link that, that is, you can see here, ISL inter cross link. That is also we are going to happen cross connect VRRP that I was talking, how it is going to integrate that we are going to understand. Okay. And then further how the configuration is going to be happen. So I have a lot of things. Even the traffic steering, how the policy traffic steering is going to happen, right? So how the traffic steering is going to be configured for the different different location, how the rule is going to be match condition and then forwarding profile is going to apply based on the SLA profiles, right? These all things is going to be understand in very deep manner because we having a document and I have an expertise already deliver. I don't know how much batch and how many is done for the Cisco SD WAN and invested n number of hour for the Versa SD WAN and deploy the lab, tested everything. So now I'm fully ready for the deliver this training, okay? So if you guys having any challenge, any any issue in the production environment, just let me know. We together try to test in the lab environment as well. If something new for me, if I already know, definitely I'll help you. But nothing is impossible. I'm just saying nothing is impossible. We can do together everything. My next target is a Palo Alto SD WAN integration very soon probably by end of the August. So three sd one flavor, I will run in this end of the August, Cisco already running, right? Cisco sd WAN. now we are talking about the Versa sd WAN. The third one is the Palo Alto sd WAN. We will start by end of the, this is my announcement, okay? So this three portfolio by August will start because I know people are very struggling in the market. They are trying to figure out the, you know, trainings, but it is highly cost. Uh, and even the trainers are not available. So I'm trying to mitigate or fix those gaps. So it is not something, uh, only it is going to help for their career. Also, it is going to give you the 
versatile view of the sd band solutions okay when you talk about different different sd band portfolio so that's all guys from my side okay for today session hopefully you all understand let me know if you having any question guys jackson ganesh mahesh neem naim right parul saita anyone ashutosh bhanu hi sir ganesh here hello yeah ganesh yeah tell me yeah so these controls like is given means we uh, tell is given okay so these controls are hosted in uh, on prem or uh, cloud correct that's that's a good question this can be on prem and this could be the cloud as well okay mm -hmm. so this could be the on prem and this could be the cloud as well so you can see here if i talk about the versa this document i didn't show you so let me just show you so every document i have so here you can see versa director you can see it can be deployed in the on prem it can be deployed in the bare metal virtual and public cloud as well so whatever you want you can deploy it okay similarly if you go in the versa as well you'll uh, director as well let me see they have mentioned that can be also deploy anywhere okay so it is up to us how basically we can deploy these are the not physical boxes these are the software versions and it could be deployed in anywhere right same for the versa same for the web tailor if you go for the web tailor as well it is the same case okay thanks ganesh any other question you have ganesh uh like in sd wan like we tell is sd wan like we bond is for the authentication like it, it going to authenticate uh, the things mm. correct mm. right but right in sd wan uh, like uh, which controller uh, take the same role uh, uh in in versa you are talking yeah in versa yeah yeah that is the controllers this controller this controller is going to play as the same role a staging server right mm -hmm. this controller is going to play as a staging server to authenticate the devices on board the devices that is going to play a role Okay. Okay. That's so we are actually same yeah. as the we manage and the we control means we control is same as the like we bond and all, correct? Yeah. Right. You are absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for asking the question. Okay. Did you you guys understand what I explain, or it is something not completely understandable? Okay. No problem. so thank you so much guys so we are closing this session for time being okay we'll continue our batch when it is going to officially start and where we can start from zero okay one more one more thing sir yeah 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 please ask i think in last batch you you just message like uh, all the team members like you are going to conduct some session for the ch correct so yeah ch ch yeah ch when you are planning to Okay, CH CH is probably next week. I will do. If not next week, see these are two dates: sixth, seventh, or mm -hmm. might be thirteenth and fourteenth. These mm -hmm. are the four dates. I'll deploy the CH. So this CH right now in my current batch is still not deployed. Everything is deployed, but CH is not deployed because mm -hmm. I left because I'll deploy with you all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So I I'll send the message whenever CH will be deployed. Okay. That will have ha happen with the live only. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you, Ganesh. Thank you for reminding me as well. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys. So happy weekend again. So not weekend. Almost everyone have to start work by tomorrow. So just uh, <laughs> whatever time we have on this Sunday, just enjoy it in the learning. Or if you want to go to family dinner, just go. And we'll see you again. All right. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.